Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing great. In this short LaTeX tutorial, I want to show you how you can structure a big LaTeX document, for example, your bachelor, master thesis, or another PhD paper. This is just going to show you how you can structure your big project. As you can see here, I just created a document class, which is an article defined with title page, A4 paper, and 12 points as the size of the text. And in the beginning, I also have the title, author, and date. We also have the begin document, and then we use this make title, which shows the title. Then we have here different sections. So I use the first section as the introduction. So I have some sample text in Latin. Then I have the first chapter, also with some sample text. Then here we have the next chapter, also with a lot of text, and so on. You can see here it's really hard to figure out like a good structure within the document so if I want to change some text within here I would just need to use this one to go back to the location but still it's quite hard to find your uh, location of the specific text if you have like more than 20 pages in your document it might be not that handy to then search where in the code editor you want to change something so to actually come up with a better structure i propose to make some folders as you can see here i already created a folder you can just click here and create a new folder and then you can just give it a name i created already a text folder as you can see here which contains specific text documents as you can see here so basically the same as in our main text document we already have everything in there so you can just use this structure with the folder and the text documents here to then use that text document for a specific section so for example here I have the section introduction with the whole introduction in it and this is the way I can kind of structure the whole project so I already set up all those chapters with a section title in the beginning and then just the text in order to then use those chapters within the text folder you can use input in your main text file so in our case if we refer to these uh, text files we don't really need our long text in the main text file so I'm just going to delete all those chapters I have defined within the main text Okay, so I just delete that and as you can see, I just recompile again to show you that now all the text is gone. So we have here our title page, which is the only page we got because we don't have the other text inserted. So now we can use the input command to then refer to our folder, which is called text. And then we want to first input our first text file, which is the introduction. So when we just use that and recompile that, then you see we have our first introduction and the whole text we edited here in this text file. So now we can actually do that for all our chapters we defined within the specified files and now we can recompile it and have our document again of all the 13 pages and as you can see here our main text file is only 24 lines long this is how i structure big projects so you can use folders and files and then input that with the input command within your main text you can also make some further layers so you can use another folder in your text document for the introduction or for a specific chapter and then within those folders you can use for specific sub chapters or for some charts or figures you want to input in your main text the most important thing is just to have a clear structure to then know where you have what in your text files i hope you got a lot of value out of this video i wish you all the best with your big latex project if you like the video please hit the thumbs up and leave a comment subscribe for more useful latex tutorials thanks a lot and see you next time